got on Tuesday for more talks before making up his mind. But we'll be hearing from David Pleat in a moment. But first, let's see how things went at Molyneux yesterday when he took his team to the First Division leaders Wolves for what could well be his last game in charge at Luton Town. Up there is Dixon. Ooh, a nice little knockdown from him. They'd have been in trouble. Instead of which it's Marshall taking on Thomas. And the free kick given right on the edge of that Wolverhampton Wanderers penalty area. It's against Venus for the challenge on Marshall and Luton have a genuine scoring opportunity. And I thought the Priest might have fancied a go with his left foot. Oakes and James are there too. It's going to be Priest. Oh, it's a super goal. David Priest. A perfectly manoeuvred free kick. And David Priest hammers it wide of Mike Stowell and the league leaders are behind. Aimed uh, to Kerry Dixon, a touch off from him. Marshall for Telfer. Good chance to cross one in here, and it's beyond the keeper. And Walters and Marshall and Luton are two up. A stunning blow. A stunning blow to Wolves. The header is from Dwight Marshall from virtually underneath Stowell's crossbar. And the Luton fans over there really celebrating, and with good reason, because inside the first two minutes of the second half, Luton have made it 2-0. Thompson was intending to pass the ball to Ferguson, who hung back. And Luton break with Marshall. Taking on Blades. And still Marshall. Priest at the hub of most good things of Luton's at the moment. Thomas in. Telford missed it. Dixon did it. 3 0. Extraordinary scenes here at Molyneux. And Kerry Dixon may have headed Luton to a famous victory. The ball in was inch perfect. It was Telford who came in initially. He just ducked underneath it almost. Kerry Dixon's head powered it in beyond Stowell. And inside the first ten minutes of the second half, Luton have taken themselves into a three-goal advantage. Hamblin almost confused himself, but Ferguson's got his man in here, and there might be something now for Paul Stewart, and there is! The Wolves have got something out of their afternoon's work. The ball actually clipped off the heel of Marvin Johnson, but I'm sure that Paul Stewart's going to claim that one. And Wolves at least have some consolation with about ten minutes to go. And it's got through here for Kelly. And Luton in real trouble now. Kelly's got to knock it into Stewart. And it's an own goal this time of Johnson. An astonishing revival from Wolves here. And both times the ball has gone into the Luton net. It's gone in off the foot of Marvin Johnson. That was your final goal. It was a nice send-off. Yes, it was. The team played well. The team played well. They played um, good football. We like passing the ball and inducing players towards us and then playing around them and then releasing players. There was a bit of imagination in the play and um, the passing was quite good. There was a resilience, which is not a quality that I particularly worry about or am associated with, but there was, a, there was determination there. The important thing is we play with imagination and I can put up with winning and losing just about. I can, you know, I've learnt to. Um, um, accept, if you like, um, the twin imposters. Uh, the one thing I do like on a Saturday night is to go home and be able to go in the front door and say, oh, we played some good football today. Mm. If there is any doubt in your mind at all, has that made it even more uh, difficult a decision to make for you? Well, I thought of your question while I was sitting probably on the bench uh, at 3-0. Someone's going to say something like that, but um, we'll see, John. We'll see, everything evolves and something may just um, make it, uh, you know, make it um, decisive. But, but at the moment, I, I'm, I'm living with myself and I feel all right. But certainly, you've not made up your mind. No, I haven't. I haven't because, um, because I need another... To be, to, to be fair, I've only met uh, Alan Shaw and he was very pleasant. I enjoy his company, he was very interesting. But uh, I only met him for a couple of hours because I dashed back because I wanted to be at the training Friday. That was more important. And uh, now we've had the game today. Quite frankly, I think Alan Sugar is going away for a couple of days anyway. Um, but um, he won't wait too long, and, and we, we, you know, we want it sorted out. But when you go into a job, it doesn't matter how small the job is, you do need to know, you need to be sure and comfortable in what has been put to you that it can work. So it could be the question of the role that's offered you that might be the problem. Yes, 
Yes, it's the role. It's not. Uh, it's not really any other consideration. No, I'm sure it would never it's be not, financial. It would be no, it's not really football. financial because um, we, we can. You know, we've got our three meals a day and all that business. And uh, no, it's not financial. I love football, and I don't know what to do without football. So it's a slightly different um, a movement for me. And uh, it's you know, can you cope with that? Are you a good enough organizer? Can you pull it all together? They obviously think I am. So that's nice.